Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist and I wanted to share with you a really cool trick today inside Micromine that will help you uh, do put design a little bit faster and in an automated way and uh, I know that some of you might be thinking this is going to be something simple he's going to use the AutoPit designer but no and this is something really challenging and in this specific cases we'll get to that in a moment and you will see that there's some work around it to make it actually happen so I'm gonna be assuming that you guys are actually familiar with bit design and uh, with the basics of using Micromine if not make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will be sharing a lot of videos for the basics on how to use this software getting to some really advanced techniques so basically when we want to do a pit design in the best cases we will get like in an optimizer shell that we will use that uh, as the basis for our design and that's the best way to do pit designs by the way and uh, also some other people's what they do is that they have this block model and they filter out let's say the high grades and they try to create contours around the, around them and they go from the bottom all the way to the top and they will end to the top, end up with uh, intersecting the topography and cut that by the DDM and voila we got everything done but the issue is in some other cases someone is gonna give you this outline dropped on the topography and all they care about they don't give you anything about the grade or anything what they care about and this is actually happens uh, especially with the queries and they tell you that you need to do a pit design with a specific criteria but the most important thing is you don't you don't actually cross this boundary and this might look like it is something simple but it is not because if we are going to copy this one this string we copy that to a, a design uh, uh, you know uh, string and we start projecting that down and creating the different benches because it is dropped on the topography and this string is not sitting at a specific elevation we will get like um, you know uh, benches that are not even and the they go up and down up and down which is something not practical and we would not do that okay the other issue is if I'm going to digitize a random toe string and try to go all the way up, I'm not going to end up exactly in this area. I'm going to be either inside or outside. So what I would do is I will start, you know, trying to use maybe the real line string uh, multiple times in order to get that to this uh, specific, you know, uh, boundary. And this is going to take us some time and it's time consuming, trust me. So what is the solution to do this in the most automated way as possible? Well, follow me because I found a trick around this thing. Well, other than the pit design in the mining uh, module in Micromine, we have what we call the waste stamp modeler, which is a really amazing tool for waste stamp design. And what is this, how does this actually work, is you give it a DDM, that's the topography, and you give it a toe string, or, uh, you know, an area like this one. And what are you interested in is you have, let's say, uh, an X volume of waste material, and you want to see in that specific area what is the elevation that we are going to reach with some uh, design criteria and with a specific volume that's the case number one the second thing is uh, you have the uh, the volume but you don't know what is the elevation that we are going to reach with specific uh, design criteria and you're going to insert the volume and see what is the maximum elevation that we're going to reach and the good thing about the waste stamp modeler is that even if you give it a string like this one that with different elevations the benches of the waste stamp 
are going to be uh, all sitting at one you know elevation and it's not going to be uh, going up and down so i thought is there a way actually to combine this because actually a waste stamp is if we're doing a waste stamp basically it is a, a flipped pit design and here where I started to think on how to do this and how to combine both of the tools to actually get what I want and there's actually a way to do that so follow me I'm gonna be just going uh, I'm not going into the details but I'll show you what is the idea so the first thing is I've generated a uh, contour for the topography that's the first thing so the second thing is I have this outline which is this red string then what I would do is if you go to the search here and search for calc this is basically what will allow you to calculate some uh, new let's say attributes to different files inside Micromine by applying an expression or combining two values or whatever you want so I believe you get the idea now so if if you waste stamp is basically a pit design flipped and we get all the features that we need inside the waste stamp modeler so if we find a way to actually create a flipped waste stamp and then flip it back then we will get a pit so here is the thing so we go to calculate and we use that outline and here is the simple really simple expression here so we go to this one and we say we want to use expression in our case the expression is going to be the RL which is the elevation and we want to multiply that by minus one so multiplying that by minus one which means that if it's sitting at an elevation of 100 it's going to be minus 100 so if we're uh, below zero everything that was you know a mountain it's going to be now a valley okay so so that's that's the idea so here is what what we will end up with so we do the same thing by the way for the topography for the topography strings that we've created and you can see that this one was like some sort of a va valley in, in 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 here so we will when we do everything flipped we will end up with this one so this is going to be our topography now you can see now we have some sort of a mountain in the middle and with that string if we also go and flip this one let me probably use this one as the RL you can see now we have this one now what we need to do is we are going to use the waste stamp modeler and we are going to create a waste stamp here okay then uh, I believe that you got the idea after we get the waste stamp what we can do is we copy that waste stamp into a string file and we do the ex exact same thing we go to uh, calculate here and use that waste stamp design that we've created and now we need to flip that multiply that by minus one and guess what we are going to end up with a pit design now the good thing about this is that with the topography and if we open the outline that we were interested in let's get that back to RL the actual one you can see that this one actually is sitting exactly at that specific you know uh, area that we are interested in and if we want to do some detailed design what we need to do is to take one of these uh, uh, you know subsurface uh, benches and copy that into a uh, pit design uh, you know um, file and we start doing the design the way we want it to be and you can see that it is almost intersecting with that outline uh, and and this is exactly what we wanted to do and this is the best way to do this automatically I would like to know if you guys knew about this trick or have other uh, way ways of doing it I would love to hear that from you and uh, I hope this was informative and see you in another video